a spot here. Unless they consider that to be a waiting point because the rocks are there and stuff, maybe. Possible. I gotta tell you, it is weird though for me. It's like, it's a difficult transition playing playing a character who does not have Vander's intense movement rate. Um, Vander moves so quickly through the world space, it's just, it it's really feels almost weird now playing a character who doesn't have that movement rate, so. Okay, apparently we found our spot. Can I move this thing? Ugh! Now they're pretty much squashed down on top of each other there. Okay, I'm thinking... It's gotta be a better... Okay, they're up there. Ah, what is that? What did I just see? What is that thing? Okay, that's freaking me out a little bit. There it is. What is that? Whoa, that's quick. Ooh, it's kind of tough. Nicely done. Oh. Okay, that thing's... Yeah, I don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Can I grab it? Nasty. Gotta tell you, I'm liking this so far. It's gorgeous. It's definitely gorgeous to look at. Not liking this water business very much, but... Okay. I'm back. I'm going to try not to suck your blood. I really want to, though. Okay. I found a ford downriver. It has strong currents, but should be fine. Oh, yes. No worries. Our moon cow is heavy. We feed them with more droppings. <laughs> <laughs> That's a moon cow. Okay. Where do we go next? Kalmar have invited you to their jungle. This is rare, but it seems they have been expecting you. We will bring you there to meet them before the day breaks. Great. The reason that I was interested in Moonpath to Elsewhere is because, for those of you who uh, are familiar with Fleet's series... Uh, he's got it in bad for the Thalmor. He really hates the Thalmor. So um, my understanding is the, the basis of this mod is, is that you get involved in helping the Khajiit defend elsewhere from the Thalmor incursion. So it seemed plausible to me that having done a lot of things, accomplished a lot of things in Skyrim, that that fleet being older and wiser now may move on to other parts of Tamriel to continue the fight. Wow, holy cow. Look at that. Uh, so, uh, Jake is asking whether or not I am going to make 
Hello. Vander's um, mods available to the public on Nexus. The plan is yes. What I will be doing is releasing a couple of different things. Um, there's going to be an NPC mod. And basically, it, it's going to be a dual purpose NPC mod. In, in that, I mean... Um, the mod will allow you to have Vander as a follower, if you wish. Or it will also allow you to use that mod to create a preset so that you can look like Vander if you want to actually play as Vander. One thing I will tell you, however, I am not going to be doing is I, I don't have any plans at this point to try to voice that character. So the follower NPC does does not um, is not going to have any voice files or or lip files. However, what I am going to do is release a full voice set for um, PC head tracking and emotions mod. So if you wanted to, you could download that mod, install it, and you could pull his whole voice package in there. So that would allow you to have Vander's, be able to hear Vander's voice if you're playing him as a character. And if you're using him simply as a follower, you could actually use those voice packages as well and have that just be Vander's voice. And he would speak to you and he would comment on things as you were traveling and stuff like that. So Vander will be available. Um, Vander's armor retexture will be available. Um, I probably will not release the short blade just because it's already part of another mod package and you can get it by downloading the Lotor weapons. So you'll have that. Um, if people are interested, I can also release the mod that I'm using to create all the letters and stuff that I'm using to drive the story in game. Um, however, I mean, those, those letters are manually placed by me. The mod just includes the letters and allows you to put those letters in your inventory. It does not place them in the world. Um, I'm not sure if I would do that or not. Um, but yeah, I mean, guess, I guess the short answer is, yeah, I can make those available. Okay. I did not make Vander's armor. Vander's armor comes from, uh, the Armonizer mod package. However, I did make all of the textures for Vander's armor and I did create my own mod for Vander's sprint shoes and sprint cap, and I will be making those available. So by by piecing those things together, you can recreate Vander completely. And if you use the NPC head tracking and emotions mod, you'll be able to actually have a voice package as well with a hundred or so lines that he can say. So Wow, look at this place. Can we just take a moment here? Because this is amazing. Bravo. Oh, hey. This one. Hmm? What have you got for sale? Because I want to sell some stuff. Okay. I'm going to sell it. Sell it. Ah, man. That's kind of expensive, I guess. An ebony sword. Just going to offload some crap here. If I can. Just going to shed the weight. What has he got left? He can buy a garnet or two, right? All right. Good enough. Thank you. Okay. Let's have a look around. Okay, this is what? Okay, this is kind of a weapon storage area. We got a crafting area. Got a dude we can sell stuff to. 
you know, my understanding is you can kind of live here, right? Set up shop. All these books. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. It's basically like, like a player home, I guess, huh? Wow. Pretty amazing. I am impressed. Definitely impressed with the environment here. Look at that. Seriously. And the floating bottles. That's amazing, too. Okay. Mage light. Lightning storm. Take a level in smithing. That's good. Actually, I don't think I have mage light. Let's have a look. Crazy that I don't have that. But I don't. Again, I had to recreate him from scratch, so there's a ton, a crap ton of stuff that he used to have that I'm sure he's missing now, okay. Okay. Let's see how I get down there. Oh, everybody wants me to put stuff on Nexus. Listen. I'm all for putting stuff on Nexus. I just wish that putting stuff on Nexus wasn't such a colossal time suck. Because it really is. Um, just, you know, I understand that they need certain amount of detail in order to properly categorize the content that goes out there. In other words, everything's got to have the right metadata attached to it, right? But it takes a long time, and it's just like a long process. So, yes, I want to put stuff out there, but I feel like I need an administrative assistant in order to get it all done because I just have a huge collection of things that could go out there, um, including uh, I did this whole armor retexture for of the uh, rough leather armor, for Robard, and I even got permission from the original mod author to put my retexture out there. I just can't find the time to do it. So, who are you? What is this place? Something else were silly. I'm Woo. Yuna. I live here. We were expecting you. Samir told me to come and welcome you. Hi, Yura. Thank you so much. Okay. Amir, where is she? The Palmer has given you this. The Pride Rack has your home in elsewhere. Deeper down you'll find a door to the waterways. Travel there to find a mirror. Deeper down. They are the what are the Palmar? There are many types of Khadit. Although the Palmar look feral, they too follow the moon and their way. Okay. Deeper down. Man, I thought I went to the bottom. I guess I didn't. Do I actually have to go in the water down here? Or something like that? Yes, we are. We are Khajiit. What they talk? Never left our home. We've come to guard you, as we were ordered, by our pride leader, Deep Claw. Wow, look at this. That's awesome. There's got to be a smart way to get to this. So did I just... No, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you just do walk in the water. That's what you do. Okay. All right, well. Let's 
I guess. You just kind of run through the shallow water here. Look at this environment. I'm telling you, this is really nice. I am thoroughly impressed. Ah. Uh -huh. Whoa. Okay. There we go. I'm really amazed and impressed that y'all have um, taken the time to actually watch all the videos in Fleet's series. Holy shitballs. Oh, shit. Now is when I really wish I had Vander's speed. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Ah! Lost! Alright, I gotta get myself out of this. I'm spending too much time talking to y'all when I end up paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah. Come back here. Okay. Amazing. Oh, jeez. I will tell you that Spider has never scared me this much in Skyrim. Without a doubt. Lost. Well done. Okay, is he finally dead? What do I got here? I got like some zombie things. Bunch of spiders. Got you. Oh, jeez. So gross. So gross. Now, who's that? My God. Ow! Ow. A skeleton? The hell? How's a skeleton making it down here? I'm like a dinosaur thing. What can I do with the eyeballs? Okay. All right. That's it. Hate you so much. And you especially. Oh my god, they're so creepy. I don't know what it is about these spiders, but they freak me out way more than the ones in Skyrim. Okay. Yes, Vander's speed is increased with Sky Tweak. In the first six episodes of Rune Runner, 
Vander's speed was controlled through an enchantment. But after going through my mod setup with Cal, discovered that it was much more efficient to do it through Sky Tweak. Plus, Sky Tweak is sort of the the role player storyteller's dream. That one mod and its MCM menu oh. allows me to control virtually every aspect of the game. Um, it gives me so much control. Um, what are these now? Oh, it's more of these. If I can get the drop on them, I'm okay. But if they're charging me, man, that's... Lost. That's no good. I'm trying to go easy on the uh, the jerky movement and stuff like that, but it's kind of my play style. I play with a really high DPI mouse, um, and in combat especially, I just do whatever I got to do to survive. So if things get get jumpy sometimes, I know some people it bothers them, and my only answer is to, you know, go buy yourself some Dramamine if your motion sickness c issues are, are cropping up, but um, Oh, well, he's he's still functional Not anymore Oh, thank God for bottomless ammo. Lost. Look at that. It's like huge. Ha <laughs> ha. That was a one-shot deal. Who's next? Ooh, Elder Jungle Queen. I'm telling y'all, these spiders are scary as hell. I don't know, if you haven't played this one uh, so far, it's good. Somebody told me once that um, the only the only downside to the mod was periodically some sketchy voice acting. My guess is it probably has less to do with the actual voice acting and more to do with the recording of said voice acting. <laughs> Okay, is this a this looks like a camp? But every time I think 
I can relax. I can't relax. Let's check this. All right, I think I'm good. Some of these guardian cats and whatnot. So I think we made it to the next checkpoint. Let me just look around real quick. Potions I will take. You know how Skyrim is, right? You know, after you've been adventuring for a little while, pretty soon you've got more potions than you could ever possibly carry. I don't really have that advantage at this point, because... <sighs> Fleet save game is long gone, and I'm it would be a mistake to try to resurrect a save game. Better to start him over from scratch and just reaccumulate stuff with a new setup than any other way. Hey, look at you. Holy hell, you're huge. Greetings, big guy. What are you guarding there? What? He's in his barge down the stairs. If he vouches for you, Mervar may turn his ears to you. He's in his barge. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Hey, dude. Okay, um, Mervar insists you vouch for me. He seems, um, agitated. Mervar guards us, but he can be stubborn. Just tell him to stop being an oaf, or I will twist his ears. Mm, what's going on here, anyway? Why is Mervar so paranoid? Yeah, you know, the kingdoms of elsewhere are now a Thalmor protectorate. But this does not mean everyone is a compliant vassal to their delusions. Ah, let me guess. You people are rebels as well. Indeed. And all this moon sugar is going straight into our new maid's coffers. Hence Mervar's caution. Dalmor spies are everywhere. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, I, I get the sense that y'all are trying to figure out what mod this bow is. Look for recolored bound weapons. Um, it does more than just recolor. It adds several varieties of bound weapons, and it is a mod that I used a long time ago in Fleet's story. And I went out and looked at Nexus, and it's still there. So I'm using it now. It's called Recolored Bound Weapons. Uh, Jake has a question. Couch, from episode 6 to 7, you changed your heavy weather gear to the Hunter Archer armor. Why did you do that? I'm not complaining. The Hunter Archer armor looks cooler. I'm just asking why. Well, the reason is that the heavy weather gear that I was using in Vander's story for episodes one through six, that mod was taken off the Nexus. So when I had to rebuild, when I had to rebuild my setup, um, I was kind of sort of screwed on that. So what I needed to do was come up with some new heavy weather gear. So I like the Hunter Archer armor as well. I am just was looking for something kind of practical, and that seemed like a good option. So I worked the loss of his heavy weather gear into the story, and that's how I explain that. Somebody thinks that I'm going to need to be doing a lot of regeneration, so... I'm going to take their word for it. Okay. Oh, stairway's over here. I mean, there's nobody saying I can't take this stuff, so... I love these barges. Hey, you dropped your moonstone. Huh. 
Okay. So apparently I can... God, he's huge. Okay. Quam L says he'll twist your ears. That sounds like him. And he is not beyond actually doing it. Well, now that Mervar knows you are in the loop, why don't you help us out? Great. Sure, why not? That's why I have traveled here. My twin Dervar is scouting near the Denmar Den. Go and see if he's on my TAs. <sighs> How do I find your brother? Stand out. He is Toshairat, like me. Just follow the path behind this door. It leads straight to the Denmar Den. Here. Take this key. Okay. So I'm gonna go find your bro. Okay. Why do I get the feeling that finding his brother is going to be dangerous? Huh? Okay, what is that? Holy crap, what's going on down here? having a pitch battle and I'm shooting crabs. What's up? I don't know who the bad guy is. I don't know who I'm supposed to help here. Okay, generally the big cats are on my side. Oh, the Thalmor are here. I know who the good guys are now. Hey, we leveled up. Check it out. Oh, no. Dead tiger. Dead tiger thing. What are they called? Pamar? Holy crap, look at that. Inga Brut. An Inga Brut looks like a silverback gorilla, doesn't it? Look at this loser. Hey, you got an icy arrow in you. I'm going to take this. Oh, come on. I want, like, some real, legit arrows. To be honest with you, I, I know a lot of people love the bound bow, and I use the bound bow a lot in my Let's Play and stuff, but overall, like, as, a, as an archer character, I don't like the bound bow. I like some of the benefits of it, but overall, when it comes to just flat-out shooting stuff, I prefer to use... That's paralysis. That could be handy. Um, I prefer to just use a regular bow. I think sometimes I feel like um, the conjuration effects and all that stuff mess with me when I'm in combat, and I don't really care for that. So, anyway... Are you all right? Better. That was a good fight. A good day to spill some time. Hello, Scotty. I see you. Wait. 
Who are you again? Uh, your brother sent me to see if you were all right. Only one breath older, and yet he feels like an old man already. Tell him now they're twins. Near the fire and come help us out. <laughs> I don't know. So far, this is pretty amazing. Okay, so now what? I found him. Ugh, now I gotta go back and tell Mervar what happened. Uh, let me just go up here first. Can I go up here? Actually, I don't think I can. Am I... Oh, okay. Fine. Fine. Okay, I'll... Let's go back. Look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting a really strong sense for how Vander would react to this place. It's it's like all I can do to not make Vander quips. Um, Fleet was always such a serious and intense character. Um, so... When I decided I wanted to do another, I don't know, epic scale role play, if you will, I wanted to play a character that wasn't quite so intense and could have a bit more fun with it. Um, so it's really hard for me to not play that way now. Hey, I found him. Okay. Um. Ah, so the Talmor found Dervar, yes. Dervar, take it. They are no more. Good work. Keep the key. Perhaps Dervar will have need of you in the future. Okay, so what's Let's next? Through the clothes. That is next. We found where this Talmor patrol came from. They landed their airship at Pillar Falls. Airships? Sweet. Yeah. Airship? Must be something new they develop. We need to learn more. Take the passage near the fireplace here. Use this key. Find the captain's orders. Okay. Hey, Red Moon Wolf. I see you. I see you. Okay. So I gotta go. Ugh. Tell you what, man. I'm talking to y'all. I don't get a... Don't do a very good job of keeping track of where I am. Pillar Falls. Is that back through that door? Hmm. I'm gonna assume it is. Let's go check. Who cares? Scenery's beautiful. We'll go check. And we got a level. I suppose I could... Take a look at that. Hmm. I'm going to put that in stamina. I like the stamina for the archer. Okay, steady hand. I could do another level in that, but that's boring. Getting more arrows back. That's boring, too. Staggering. Eh. Focus on the prey. Cannot be staggered while holding a drawn bow or reloading a crossbow. Eh. What's this? Three crows. Shooting a target beyond 25 feet three times leaving less than 2.75 seconds between each hit deals bonus damage oh, um, long shot well I guess I could finish this off more damage is good okay
Let's see, they called it Pillar Falls or some something like that. Ah, I can't believe these Thalmor soldiers don't have elven arrows. That's my biggest issue right now is I have a decent bow, but I've completely run out of arrows. So, um, you know, using kind of whatever garbage I can come up with. Um... Not entirely sure that this is the place I'm supposed to be. Okay. Is this like... Can I really... Ugh. Hey. We are still investigating those Talmor. Be careful. And tell me if you spot any more, yes? Absolutely, I'll tell you. Okay, this is not where we're supposed to be. But, since I'm up here... Seem to be reasonably generous with the potions, so I'm gonna. What's this? I'm gonna take them while I can get them. This is a great mod, especially if you like stuff like, you know, tree houses and the whole Swiss Family Robinson vibe. This is uh, very, very cool. Okay, so... Take care of the Thalmor base and find the captain's orders. Huh. Okay, well, <clears throat> so it's got to be, let's be another direction off of here. Okay, will he remind me? No. Okay, so, Pillar Falls. Well, that looks kind of like... Something I should check out, doesn't it? No. Maybe I just need to continue downstream. Right? And there is this door over here, right? I haven't looked at that yet. And then there's also further downstream I could go, maybe. Ah. Well, that would be it. Door to Pillar Falls. Yes, um, Vander does use the Ordinator Overhaul. Be very quiet. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Seriously? Woo. Man. Okay, let's see. Uh, yes, Cal, we are still on for tomorrow, okay? Check. We are on for tomorrow. Yes, Vander uses Ordinator. Also, CW, what happened to NYM? What is NYM again? Refresh my memory. I don't remember what, what that is. So, help me out. And I will do my best to answer your question. 
Um, let's go back to this. Lost. Are these Thalmor? I would surely like to kill some Thalmor. That would be amazing. Oh no. Okay, let's, um, hmm. Get a look, see here. That's definitely Thalmor, right? Let's see if I can draw them off, maybe. Yeah, go that way. Oh, the story of Nim. <laughs> yes. I could not sustain Nim. Too much work. So, yeah, the, the issue is that, I mean, Nim was an interesting idea. Um, I, I loved the concept. And incidentally, we did, I think, well, I did three episodes of Nim and found several months later there was some dude doing exactly the same thing that that we had set out to do on Skyrim but he was doing with Fallout. And he was getting press on GameSpot. And of course... When I saw that, I was like, hey, man, we did that first, and I was kicking myself for not continuing it. But the fact is that even though there's three of us doing this podcast, I'm the only one who's got the capability to gather footage and do video editing and all that stuff. Matt and Joe just don't have that capability. Um, so that that puts all the responsibility on me to do it, and I just don't have time. Um, so at this point... It's really about just taking a look at all the projects, figuring out which ones I'm most passionate about, which, which are the ones that I can't do without, which are the ones that are most important to me, and then, you know, eliminating everything else, honestly. All right, let's see. Nuts. Ah, uh, I loved the concept of Nim. Um, but I just couldn't couldn't sustain it on my own. So, come on, man. Ha! Huh, there we go. All right. Oh well, not sure that was worth it. It's a little alarming, all of this oil. Like, what are they planning to do? Burn the jungle down, or...?
Huh. Ebony armor of extreme destruction. Well, I've got the capacity to carry it, so why not carry it? Wow, look at this thing. How does it work? So cool. Okay. Um, all right, now we got to go back to the guy with the stuff and the things, and we got to tell him about what we discovered. Discovered a whole crap ton of Thalmor. Ebony armor of extreme disappointment. Oh, that would suck. Okay, where's this guy? Uh, hey, Jake, I, I explained earlier on in this broadcast my reasons for not starting at level one. So I'm not going to explain it again. However, um, this will be a recording. So once it is out on YouTube for public consumption, you can re-listen to that if you want to. Okay, I've taken care of those Thalmor. Show me those papers. Interesting. It seems like this mission was more interesting. Hmm? How so? If the Thalmor have figured out the moon sugar is coming from Tenmar Forest, then the whole new elsewhere movement is in danger. Well, what can we do? Send spies to the doom, and they will find this just this year. But it will take time. So let's talk later. So, any word on the counter-espionage efforts? Mervar asked him to report to you at your Pride Rock hideout. Perhaps he is already waiting. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go back to the... Oh, God, it makes my neck hurt looking at it. I gotta go back. Back to the original hideout place. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Colorful Bound Bow, I think, was that, yeah. Col no, Colorful Bound Weapons, because it includes, um, recolored bound melee weapons as well. Okay. What is this? Is there something special here? Or is it just kind of like a random obelisk? Just a random obelisk. Oh, God. I don't like getting close to those things. I can't say why, but these spiders are way more creepy to me. I can't stress that enough. Okay, seriously. Look at this. It's really... It's really impressive. Um, who would win in a fight, Vander or Fleet? Depends on the fight. If they were forced to go toe to toe, Fleet would kick Vander's ass. However, I have a feeling that, um, Vander might run circles around him, um, and he would end up chasing Vander until his heart burst. That would be a possibility as well. Uh, but I mean, that's Vander's mo. I mean, that's his whole his whole fighting style is is constant fight and retreat, fight and retreat, fight and retreat. That's what he does. So that's just 
his style, I guess. Atronach Forge recipe. What? Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'll take that. We'll study that later. Ooh. 92 archery. Liking that. Okay, I gotta talk to somebody. Oh, is it her? No, it's not her, right? Greetings! Oh, happy with your progress. You grow stronger every time they see you. Okay. Oh, you are so... If I could only come with you, I'd make a great dragon slayer. Okay, I better check my journal. Oh, I'm hated and feared. That is no good. I'm not using any kind of vampire overhaul, so I don't know what's going to happen. This could get ugly. I'm hoping not. Hey, do you hate me and fear me? Because I'm hoping not. Need something? No. Take a look. You got any money? Mm, he does have money again. Guess I could get rid of some more stuff. Oh, crap. Too rich. Um, that I can get rid of. Got my shrouded armor. You want to buy that? Some hand wraps. How about that? And that. And that. And that. And one of these. And one of those. One of those. Okay. Liquidating stuff. Okay, where's this guy we got to talk to? See all the way up at the top. Okay, that airship wasn't here before, right? Hey, dude. You're not the guy I need to talk to, but let's talk to you. <laughs> okay. Um, Mervar told me I should look for Kulan. Do you know him? Okay. Squid schemer. The vampire thing happened at the end of Aranus Arcana. Um, but we never really got to see what was going to come of it or get any explanation because Couch Warrior stopped making videos. You are Kulan? Ah, yes. Kulan welcomes you to the deck of the waning moon, your personal airship. Really? You're giving it to me. I cannot give to you what is not his. You shouted it down from the sky above. It is yours by right of the hunt. I did? Okay. You are exaggerating. What about that justicier? That's why our spies trapped in north of here, close to the city of Dune. That damned elf is raiding our caravan supply posts. He must pay for his crimes. Okay. I guess I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> what can stop us now? Okay. Kalan navigates the ship through the sky above, elsewhere. It's a smooth, uneventful journey. Wow, this is just like playing Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> Your journey was uneventful. Can't tell you how many times I heard that. Okay. So I guess that means that I need to... Go up through the hatch, check out our new environs. <laughs>